We're starting our day with a cup of joe from Via Miriam, and you should too. Owners David Certain and Juan Certain are joining us today to talk a little bit about it and first to celebrate the fact you guys are opening a new location. Yep. That's that great. Is. Let's let's hear about this new location. So new location on Golden Third. Golden Third, okay. Uh, between downtown. third and fourth. Yeah, mm -hmm. downtown. It's all about the social connotation of coffee. So it's gonna be a really easy going space, great space to see some art, have a great cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. Um, sit down, relax, use the internet. It's, it's going to be about just the, the social connotation. So that's great. And is, has it opened yet? Uh, can we? Can I like? Uh, what I'm asking is, after work, can I go get a cup of coffee at the new location? <laughs> no, we'll be opening October first. So October next 1st? Tuesday, Tuesday okay. from today. Um, we'll be doing a big grand opening that day. So okay, we're welcoming everybody to come in and try a good cup of coffee. That's great, and that's great that y'all are downtown. I mean, downtown is it's so it's such a great place to be, and you really want to promote the the pedestrian atmosphere of downtown Albuquerque, you yeah. know, and that's great that y'all are taking advantage of that. Now, I think it's really interesting. I, this is, first of all, this is a multi-generational operation, right? Yeah. How many generations of coffee makers in your family? We're third generation. Third generation. Growers okay. and roasters. Mm -hmm. Growers and roasters. And you were saying you see it from start to finish, Yep. right? So let's, let's, let's start at the beginning. You you bring the coffee yourselves from Colombia, is that right? Correct. Let's, let's talk a little bit about the process because that's something that coffee addicts like myself, we never think about, but uh, let's talk about you bringing it into the United States. So we, we take turns traveling to Colombia. Mm -hmm. um, we go and select pretty much which lot we're gonna uh, have the people handpick mm -hmm. and so that it can be processed and shipped over to the US. Mm -hmm. and the way we do that, we just, uh, take samples of specific uh, locations that we have targeted mm -hmm. within our plantation, mm -hmm. uh, dry it, roast it, and taste it, and see which one is the best out of all of them. How long does that process take? It takes about a month. About a month? Yeah. Okay. That whole process takes about a month. Once we get determined which one is going to be the one, then at that point we just have our people focus on taking better care of those plants, taking ca better care of that lot. Uh -huh. And then from that point on, then it's going to take another, more, more or less about uh, three to five more months for it to complete the growing, uh, the selection, and then the drying and processing and shipping. Wow, and you can tell that early on what, what that crop of uh, coffee usually, is going to be. Usually, the coffee, a uh, coffee bean takes about nine months to grow, mm -hmm. so that's as long as it takes. So mm -hmm. usually those trees will already have a few red beans ready, ripen, ready to be selected. Mm -hmm. So give us an idea of uh, what quality of coffee that tree is going to bring. Okay. okay. So, Maybe the full harvest seed, uh, for that tree is not ready at that point, but uh -huh. there's gonna be some specific beans that will be ready for harvest. Okay, great. So it comes here, we've got the beans. You roast here as well. You do all the roasting. How is that handled? So we roast to order. Mm -hmm. Basically any of our accounts will call in an order, we'll then just roast. Mm -hmm. um, the process is pretty simple. You just drop the coffee into a hopper. Um, then it goes into uh, roasting based on, on the roast temperature and time. Mm -hmm and then we just allow for the coffee to degas for about 48 hours, then it's okay. packaged and delivered. So any of our coffee, the idea is to be drank within a week. That's what within we shoot for, okay. for our customers to be serving it the week that it has been roasted. Okay, that that's really is gonna bring time. a beautiful flavor to the coffee. Great, okay. And so do you do the roasting at the cafe? Is it, it roasted elsewhere and then you bring the beans? We actually have a roasting facility off of Mont Montgomery and, okay. and I-25. Okay, and, and so, Let's talk a little bit about the, the cafe itself. We've got some, some video here of some of your coffees. Uh, let's talk just a little bit about the cafe itself. We said we, it offers internet. We talked about the location. Here is, uh, this is uh, the roasting, is that right? Yeah, yeah that's the actual oh, look roasting at that. process. That's a roaster. So you do the roasting and then you take the beans over to the cafe and then you, you do the shipping from the roasting facility as well to your clients, is that correct? Mm -hmm. okay. Correct, yeah. That's great. And so. In, in terms of if I want to get like a darker flavor, like a bolder flavor, what do you do with the phrase, uh, with the, uh, the roasting? So we have three different roasts available. We mm -hmm. only use one single source origin coffee, mm -hmm. which is our coffee from our plantation. And we roast it in three different ways. Okay. Uh, medium roast, which is our lightest roast. It's mm -hmm. a very light roast. Our medium dark roast, which is getting to a full city roast. Mm -hmm. And then our dark roast. It's okay. below a French or Italian, but it's our dark, the darkest roast that we offer. The darkest roast. Um, it still showcases a lot of the quality of the beans themselves, mm -hmm. which is what we look for. We, we have a top quality product. Our coffee is considered a specialty grade coffee, which is the highest grade any coffee can actually achieve in the world. Um, so we want to bring all those natural flavors of the coffee to any cup that mm -hmm. it's drank, whether wow. it's an espresso, whether it's a, just a plain black cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. Whichever method you brew the coffee, you're going to be able to try or taste the, the uniqueness of our coffee. 
That's fantastic. Now, reminder of viewers, just one more time, where the where the new location is located? It's going to be on 311 Gold. 311 Gold, okay. And that is on Gold between 3rd and 4th. Okay, and then we've also got the 2420 Midtown. Yeah, that's where our roasting facility is. If okay. you guys want to check out our roasting, please come and see us. We usually roast Fridays and Mondays. Oh, I'll definitely be there, Yeah, guys. yeah, yeah. It's, it's a cool process. Kind of coffee <laughs> attic right here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, stick around. We'll see you in just a few minutes.